Hey, this is Susan Hamilton again, uh, the Richardson copywriter, and uh, this is the last video in this series that I want to help you get real comfortable and real familiar with directory listings, and I want you to, to think about some of the issues involved as you're going about setting this up yourself, or as you're deciding that you'd like to use our service to do this for you. Uh, listen, using uh, the same description all throughout all of your listings, may not be a good thing for you right now. Uh, Google just did uh, 500 updates this last year, and this last Panda update is talking about how the new content and fresh content and different content is so important uh, for your online presence all over the web. So, I want you to consider how beneficial it is to instead of having one description that you're going to use for each one of these companies, and I do suggest getting it done ahead of time because it'll take you a whole lot longer in each one of these directories to, you know, sit there and just come up with a description. Go ahead and, and, and get it done ahead of time and, and know what you're working with, but have several and switch them out. Don't use the same one through each one of these uh, uh, directories. Uh, Listen, there's one more thing we need to talk about, and actually two more things, but the one is often you will find that you're already listed in these locations once and maybe twice, so you're adding a listing, hey, what is that all about? That's not good, right? You're going to be in there three different times, three different ways. We are seeing it right in the lab. When you claim your listing, you will have an opportunity to talk with that uh, directory and delete the old one. You can either re overwrite, uh, and that's what I suggest. I suggest going in and attempting to overwrite one of them with claiming it, and then contact that directory. Contact them either through what I like I mentioned in the last video. Kind of use a, the FAQ or the uh, a contact form or a phone number. But you need to let them know you're having issues with multiple listings, and you only want to be in there once. Don't just let that go and say, oh well, you know, it's just you know, obnoxious. It, no, it's more than that. It's confusing for your viewer. So you want to make things as clear as possible and you want to be in the best possible light. Go ahead and make sure you're only listed in there once. Take that extra step. Uh, in the process of doing this, I want you to, to recognize that there has, there's a concern with it. When you see yourself listed in there multiple times, you may have reviews under one and different reviews under another or check-ins under one and different amount of check-ins under another because you're, let's face it, anybody who's seen these has gotten confused about where they're supposed to put that information. So when you consolidate this, it is possible to lose some reviews. It is possible to lose some check-ins. Still worth it. By the time you get this thing set up the way you want it set up, you're going to be able to take this, uh, this listing that you're proud of now, and I'm going to suggest five of them. I always suggest using five. You don't need more than that, uh, unless you want. But I don't. I don't really think it's necessary because you want. You, if you're working locally, you want to be known locally in these areas uh, that are going to be the most beneficial for you. And I always suggest Merchant Circle, Yelp, City Search, Insider Pages, and your Facebook page. That you're going to rotate these throughout the year. Pick one location, pick the link with your listing on it, and put that in the email. Uh, when you follow up with your client or your happy customer and say, hey, did you like working with us? We would really appreciate a review so we know how we're serving you. Uh, we'd like to know how to do a better job, please, and, and if you're satisfied with us. Uh, I always suggest surveys for that as well. It's very important. But this is a very simple way to get reviews, and I, everybody needs to be doing this. Go ahead and add your link to that email that you're sending out where you make it very, very easy for them. And I always let you, when you take an email uh, from your clients, when you're, when you're doing an intake for a new customer, a new client, filling out that form, make sure an email is part of that practice. If it's not, adopt it. And then let them know that you will be sending that, uh, an email to them and for them to look forward to it. Uh, get, get them watching. And then you're going to be able to follow up with that, them with that uh, email. And I would say maybe the the first month or so, use Merchant Circle. Then the next one, use your Yelp listing. Then the next one, use City Search listing. And start getting out there and building up those backlinks and reviews. Uh, if you decide to go beyond that, I, I, I think that's a lot of work for a small business to do with their own marketing. Uh, you can. 
and it is good for you. It is, it's very good for you to have these reviews because what that is, see, that's interaction. That's interaction with your company name online, and that, that is good for you. That is good for your website. It's good for your authority, so you keep that in consideration. Uh, anyway, I'm, don't be too concerned about losing reviews. If you, it may happen. Uh, if you are, but uh, once again, this is something that you need to talk to that directory about. Let them know that's a concern, that's an issue. See if they can resolve that and put them all together. That is optimal. I have seen that happen. I have also seen them lost, and there's nothing you can do about it uh, except continue to build them up, and that's what you need to do anyway. Start working on that. Get those. You want strong backlinks, and the more interactive the location is, uh, linking back to your website, the better. So I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Uh, this is Susan Hamilton, the Richardson Copywriter, and I believe in your small business success. Please leave me a comment and let me know if this was helpful to you.